The U.S. Department of Education has found that 32 million adults read below a basic level. A lack of basic literacy has ongoing consequences. These are people that are disenfranchised. We're finding that 60% of the people who are employed that read below a basic level are earning less than $16,000 a year, um, which obviously is creating huge hardships in terms of poverty. So poverty and illiteracy are highly interrelated. We also know that even though 14% of the adult population reads below a basic level, that 70% of the prison population is also functionally illiterate. So kids who are disfluent, who are reading maybe 40, 60, 80 words correct per minute, when you're listening to them read grade level text, you can actually hear them trying to process that text. Seaweed grows in small bunches or vast underwater forests and achieves itself to oh to objects or the ocean floor seaweed absorbs nutritious nutrition nutritions from the water and like other plants it it makes its own food and what you can hear is the mental energy that should be going to understanding what the words mean is going towards trying to figure out what the words are saying uh, and that creates a huge comprehension drain as well as attention span issues um, and just enjoyment, motivation to read. It's not going to be there because it's too hard. We developed the third quest because uh, we were fortunate in our uh, early schooling to learn that every student could learn to read better. If they had the right amount of time, the schedules, the teachers, and they had the right programs. Um, and with that knowledge, um, we felt it an obligation to try to reach the needs of kids that we know we can help if we have the will to do that. So we took six years to develop the third quest with a team of people working on it, and we did three years of field testing to make sure that the program worked and could be done within the amount of time a teacher might have during a period. We look at the value of a teacher as being somebody who can deliver instruction, who can make corrections, who can diagnose what's going on, who can listen carefully to what the kids are saying, and to engage them. The third quest is a comprehensive intervention. Most of the interventions that we have in our schools today are targeted, which means we're working on, say, for example, word, word study, word recognition, and fluency. But we also know that reading is a complex cognitive task. So the students need not just word recognition and fluency, but they also need work in comprehension, vocabulary, and content knowledge. We see some computer-based programs that attempt to do that, but we also see that there are a lot of kids whose skills are too low to really take advantage of computer-based programs until they have really good teacher-directed instruction where we're looking diagnostically how kids do. About 50% of the third quest is informational. About 50% of it is narrative fiction. Uh, every narrative fiction story ends with a cliffhanger uh, so that the kids are looking forward to reading the next adventure that's part of the third quest. Uh, and then the informational text provides the content knowledge they need in order to understand that story. So we designed the program so that it would appeal to young adults. Uh, and so the reader that the students have actually looks like an adult novel, a young adult novel. Um, so the students that we have, especially our special ed students, uh, feel honored that they are carrying around a book that looks like the kind of thing that their peers are reading. Um, we also did some animation in the program so that we could grab the kids' interest and create a challenge for them. Uh, and then we did some things with uh, terminology. So for example, at the end of each level of the program, the kids actually work on leveling up. Uh, and because a lot of the kids play video games, they understand that leveling up means that you are to be congratulated, but it also means that you're moving on to harder things. Um, so every level of the program gets harder and it's based on mastery. We've seen kids make as much of a 68 word correct per minute gain across um, a 75 lesson program. Um, we've seen kids make as much as a 4.5 grade equivalent gain in vocabulary and comprehension. Um, so the amount of gain that we're seeing, of course, varies by student, um, but we are seeing universally that all of our kids are making really good gains uh, in the area of reading. Uh, and probably the most gratifying thing is the kids feel confident and the kids recognize their skills themselves. Seaweed grows in small bunches of that ore in vast underwater forests and attaches itself to objects or the ocean floor. Seaweed absorbs nutrients from the water. And, like other plants, it makes its own food. 
Um, our third quest students will say things like, I can read big words that I couldn't read before. I can read books now. I can enjoy what I'm reading. They'll say, I understand what I'm reading. Um, we have a lot of students who will say, I could understand anything that was read to me, but I couldn't read it when I read it myself. Now I can. Before I used, if someone read it to me, I could tell them exactly what they were doing, but if I read it by myself, I really couldn't remember anything. And now? And now I can remember That's if I read it by gosh. myself. When I, when I get called on in class, I don't have to be worried that I'm not gonna, that I'm gonna like stumble on a word or something like that. Honestly, my mom says that my reading has improved. I think that my reading has improved. I have Harry Potter books that my grandma got me for my birthday, mm -hmm. and it's been hard understanding those big words because it, they're really big and I'm not actually pronouncing them right or anything, and the third quest helps me with that. My mom's like, since you're proud, I'm proud. <laughs>